Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download blocks and import them into 3ds Max. Now we have multiple websites available uh, on the internet. You can open any website you want, anything that you find, and you can download any block as long as the format of the block is accepted by 3ds Max. How to know if the format is accepted or not? You can go here to File and then import and then you can select merge which is going to merge 3d files or import to import non 3 ds max files so when you click on import you will see all the formats that are accepted by 3 ds max and you can import them into the software or into your files where to get uh, the best blocks possible mostly from these websites that we've collected for you so we have a list of websites here and as i told as i told you you have many many more that you can search and um, look for on the internet also we'll have some telegram channels that you can add to your telegram software and then you can download from them i'm going to show you this later on let's start with the websites first of all we have 3d sky now 3d sky is one of the best websites to download models for interior designers and architects uh, and this website you need to create a username and then you will need to log in after you do so you will have three free models every day and you can buy pro models if you want to now for these models or uh, to download these models you can either search for anything you want so for example if i search for dining uh, it will open all the dining tables or dining chairs that are available in the website another thing is you can go through the categories in here so we have some categories for decoration child room kitchen and so on so you can open whichever you want and then you can go through the, the models that are under this category so let's say i will go to um uh, playground so i'll open playground and it will open the list of models available in this website now in here we have two categories so you can go through the filters you have pro models and free models Pro models are you need to buy them so if you are downloading for the university you can just click here on the free models it will show you only the free items another thing is you can um, change the filter here from newest to popular or vice versa so if I go to popular it will show you the most downloaded items which means they will be probably uh, the best models you will find in the free category another thing is you have some other filters here so i can show playground and for example barbecue and girl it will show, show you both another thing is you can select your style do you want classic modern or ethnic also you can select the render now the blocks in a 3d sky as i told you these are the best blocks available and they come including materials and lighting whenever you need them so downloading these these uh, blocks will save you time later on uh, because it will come with the material ready so you will not need to add any materials later on to them unless you want to change the material which is something uh, that is up to you now in this semester we're working with corona renderer so you can click here on corona to get uh, all the blocks with corona materials assigned to them now you can select whichever model you prefer to download you can click on it to preview the image in a bit of a bigger size and so on until you reach the model that you want you can click on it to open the preview again then you can save the image so i'll just save it and always make sure that you save everything in a folder that you can go back to later on so uh, for me for example i will create a 3d sky models folder and then inside it i will create categories for anything that i'm working with so let's say this is for playground 
and inside it I'm going to save this image and then I'm going to download this file again you have three free models daily so every day you have three free only so make sure that uh, you download the three every day in order to get a big collection that you can use later now after you download any blocks and you add them to the folder that you are using make sure to copy them and put them in the folder that you are working in so this is the folder i'm using for project inside the blocks folder i will paste a copy of this block so i don't ruin the original image or the original block always make sure all your blocks are in one folder in your project folder otherwise later on you will not be able to get the materials they will disappear if your blocks are in the downloads folder or any other random folder you will not be able to get them back make sure that you add all your blocks that you're using for this project in one folder okay so this is the 3d sky website now anytime you would like to download an image or download a block before you download it you can just save it in the folder that you are collecting everything in and if there is any image with the same name it will give you this uh, one between brackets which means this is another copy which means you already have the block you don't need to download it again so this is going to show you if you have the block or not so this is 3d sky another website we have is cg trader now for cg traders again you need to sign in so you'll have to log in in order to be able to um just sign in real quick okay so after i sign in you, you can go um to download any files or any blocks that you want you can go here to 3d models or you can just search you can search by type so i'll go to 3d models and then from here you will find some categories that you can go through so let's say i'll go to plants and then you will get all of these now most of these are not free so if you want free models again you need to click on free you can change the file format if you have something in mind so basically what we use usually is autodesk 3d max which is just max so you can click on it to filter your files and then from here you can download whichever model you prefer um you will find some types here where you can open for example if you're using it to 3d print or for animation or for any other things you have other fold uh, other filters as well that you can use if you're using it for any other uh, metaverse or any other thing you can do this and also you can select top selling lower price higher oldest newest and best match so anyways this is uh, let's say i want to download for example this one i'll click on it again i'm going to save the image so i know what i'm using let me just save them directly in the blocks folder that is in my project so this is project folder blocks and i'll save everything in here so this is the image let's go to download so here you'll have to wait a few seconds until the uh, file appears for you and then you can save it as you can see it will show you some other models and some of them are already with their prices so if you would like to buy anything you can but for now since you're your university students you don't need to buy anything you can manage whichever um, free models you can find and later on when you're working on real projects you can buy them according to your budget so i will click on download here and always make sure that 
uh, you change the name of the file to the same name that you have for your um, image so you know which one is which so i'll copy this name i'll paste it and then i'll click on save and it will save it for me okay so this is cg trader let's go to the third website which is evermotion Okay, so this is downloaded now for ever motion again you will need to sign in you can just sign in real quick I'm not really sure if I have an account in here but basically uh, it's the same idea you'll have to create an, an, an account or you will need to log in can just try this very quick okay anyways never mind so it's basically the same idea you will go to uh, you will, you can search here for anything that you want or you can go to shop from here you can go through all the categories that are available some of them are models like this or uh, modules which you can find multiple uh, models inside one module and also you have here a category for free products now for evermotion most of them are paid models not free models but you will find some free ones in here so again you can click on whichever you want so let's say i want to download um let's say this kitchen you can click on it Add to cart, it will be added, and then you can and then you can download it. So you can just follow the steps. Now this is in my cart, and so on. So I need to create an account first and then I can add. So uh you can explore this website a bit more. Most of the professional models come from here. Now, some of them you might find them already in 3D Sky, and sometimes you will find some uh, scenes that are in here. So, if you go to collections, you will find Arch Models Volume 283 or 282, and so on. So, in each volume, you will find multiple models um, or even multiple scenes sometimes. So, if I click on this one, let me just, I'm trying this with you. So you will find all these models into one module. Okay, so this is um, Evermotion. We have Turbo Squid. Again, you will need to create an account and sign in. After you do so, you can go to 3D models and you can select the um, category that you want. Otherwise, you can just search for what you want, or you can just go through whichever is uh, showing down here. Let me search for uh, pendants. Okay, so it will show you all the models that are available. Again, you can go to price and select free. You can go to format and select that you want for 3ds max. We have other options that you can select from, or you can just go and download. So let's say I want to download this one. So I'll click on download. Again, as I told you, you'll need to create an account. I'll just try if it works then fine no okay so anyways you will need to create an account and then you can download from turbo squid uh, we have free 3d now for this one again you can create an account log in and then you can go to 3d's max model you can search and you can download similar to all the other websites that we've talked about it's basically the same idea 
So if I go to 3ds Max, it will show me all the 3ds Max model. You can select any category, so let's say architecture or furniture, or you can even just search for whichever model you want. And then you can uh, save the image, save the model, and it will be saved on your device. Now, these websites that we went to through, these are uh, the most used websites with better models than the other website that I'm going to show you right now. So basically the best is 3D Sky and then you can go through all the rest if you would like to find some more. Uh, for archive3d.net and this website, you're going to find free models, no materials, um, nothing, just free models, no need to create any um, account or anything, you can just download whichever model you like. But uh, the quality of the modeling will not be as good as the previous websites, the materials will not be included, and the search engine for this website again is not really good. So if I search here, I don't, I might not find something that I want. So let me just search for chair. It's going to give you a Google search, which is something like this, and you will need to open one by one, which is going to take time. So instead. You can go through the category, so if I want chairs, I will click on chairs, sofa, tables and sofas. Open any one of these chair, uh, chairs, sorry, and then click on the chair tags. So when you click on this tag, it will open all the chairs that are available. And we have multi um, pages that you can go through. So let's say I want to download this one. There is no number or amount that you will have to stick by every day. It is open. You can download as many as you want. But again, you have some restrictions in terms of materials and searching. So I'll do the same thing. Save the image. And then download the model. So I'll go to download and then save it. So I'll have it here. Okay. Just again, make sure that when you're saving anything that you're using the same name for the model and for the image. So you know which one is which later on. We have also open 3ds, uh, open3dmodel.com. Again, you have free object 3D Max, free 3ds Max model, and so on. So you can search for whichever you want. Let me just go to free 3D models. From here, you can select the um, format that you would like to use. So 3ds. And then you can go through the categories or you can search as well. So let's say um, I'll search for a chandelier. And you can download any model that you prefer. So maybe I'll download this one. Again, don't forget to save the image. And since this is a free website um, and you don't need to create any account or anything, you will find a lot of advertisements. So be sure to go through the proper way of downloading the model. Um, download file. Okay, so I think this is the download link. Let me just try it. Yeah, that's it. And then you can download the file from here. These are all advertisements. So be aware of this, these are all advertisements. So you will need to download it from here somehow. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe it will take time to appear, but anyways, um, this is one of the websites that you might need to use. But as I told you, you don't really, we don't really use this as much as um, the other websites.
Now the last website is 3D Warehouse. 3D Warehouse is a website done. Uh, it's made by Google for SketchUp users, as SketchUp is a Google uh, software. So this is basically SketchUp files. We don't use SketchUp software a lot because it does not give me any realistic um, uh, results. It takes. Uh, it is easy to use, but again, it's more of a concept stage than a final result stage. But if you are using SketchUp software or if you download any SketchUp model, you can use these models and you can import them into 3ds Max. So let's just uh, search again. You will need to create an account. You will need to sign in. Anyways, just uh, do this. I'm not going to waste your time. And then you can search for anything that you want. So let's say I'll search for a light. And it will give me this kind of things. Now, uh, you can click here on download and it will start downloading if you've already signed in. Let me just do this really quick. So again, don't forget to save the image as well, download SketchUp file, it will not give you any 3ds Max file, so download the SketchUp, and then again you can save it, and you don't have any number of models, you can download how, how many models or, or, yeah, any models that you want, any number uh, is for free. So there are some models that will be with a with a tag price. So um, be aware of this. Don't download anything. Uh, don't pay for anything right now. Since you're studying, you will not need to do so. So basically, these are all the websites that we have. Now, other than these websites, we have some Telegram channels. So if you download Telegram um, application on your phone you can also open it uh, on windows so it will open this way uh, i have many channels i gave you the best ones they are written in uh, the uh, pdf file that i'll give you which is this one so these are some of the best channels that you will need most of the rest, uh, they are just uh, like copying each other. And basically most of them are using 3D Sky blocks. So instead of buying the blocks from 3D Sky software, they already bought it for themselves and they are sharing it with you here on Telegram channels. So let's say I'll go and search. After you add all the channels, you can open them. So um, this is one of them. So you will see now every uh, bit of time, like every day or every week, I'm not really sure, they will start adding some models. So the, you will see the image and you will see the number. And this number is the same number that is used in um, 3D Sky. So if you go to 3D Sky website, let me just open the 3D Sky website really quick. okay so this is the website now if you find something here that you want and you don't want to buy it you can check first if it's available on uh, telegram or no so let's say i'll go to lighting i'm just uh, searching randomly and i found this light for example and as you can see most of these come with materials and with many details that are uh, available for the model itself so if you're not going to model them you're not going to create this model you're going to download it from the website um, make sure to check first of all if the model itself is good enough or no and then you can go to the first image right click and save it so you can get this number now when you see this number you can copy it and then you can go to telegram and then you can search 
for this page. If it's available, it will show you that this uh, this block or where you can find it. If it's not, so let me just show you this. So if I search for something that is available, it is supposed to show me these um, numbers. Anyways, you can even search inside the channel itself. So let me just add this again. I think maybe because I'm opening this, it's not showing. But anyways, it's supposed to show you. And another way to search in here, you can just open the uh, channel itself and then you can go to photos. And from photos, you can see any photo that you like, which what you want to download. And then you can just go to the um, to the to where it is in the chat. So let's say I want to download this one. I right click on it and go to message. And under this message, I'll usually find the block that is assigned for this one. So I'll just save it. You can um, download this image and then you can download this as well. Now, when you're downloading, um, it might not go to the, to the folder that you're using. So make sure that um, you open the folder where all your Telegram models will be downloaded and, and then copy it and paste it in the folder that you are working on. Okay. So it depends on your computer where it will, it will open the folders. Now for me, I'm not really sure. I'll just check with you really quick. I think the documents, basically this is the go-to folder. So it might be in documents. And then let's see if we have telegrams. No, so maybe it's in downloads. Okay, so this is downloads. Yes, it is in Telegram desktop. I will open it and then I'll find this file. So you can copy it and then you can paste it in the folder that you're working in. So I'm working in this folder, so I'll paste it here. So anyway, this is how to download a block, not how to import it. Now we will go to the second step, which is how to import these blocks into 3ds Max. So basically, you will use whichever website or Telegram channel or anything that you want to download these blocks. After you do so, you will make sure to copy them and place them in the folder that you are working in. As I told you here, I'm working on this project folder, which contains all the other folders that we've used. And then I'm going to my blocks folder. And from here, I have all these blocks. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to select the block that you want and it will always come as a WinRAR or a RAR file. So all these are files that are archived or compressed and you need to uh, open them first. So you'll go to this WinRAR and then extract, make sure to extract it and then you will get a folder. Now inside this folder, you will find your image, you will find the material images, some text, and you will find your block. Now sometimes your block will come as a 3ds, so this is the file that we're using, so it's .3ds file. So we have GSM, we have JPG, we have MTL, we have object. And again, if you're not sure, you, you don't see these formats, you can change the view here to details. And then you can see the types. So this is an MTL file, JPG, GSM, text, and so on. So what we need is basically the 3DS file. Okay, so this is 3DS file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this file and drop it here. And it will give me the file itself. Now I'll go to the top of view and I have my block. Before you do anything, before you import any block, make sure to always save your 3ds Max file. 
because these blocks are not done with, by professional companies that are approved by 3ds max or by autodesk these blocks are made by people and they are selling these blocks on the internet so each one will use the software on its own way uh, maybe the block is very heavy maybe it is corrupted maybe it's not working and maybe it will uh, corrupt your file you will not be able to use your file again so always before you do anything make sure to save your file and then you can import any block that you have so after you import the block make sure that you check here how many entities or how many projects are selected now I have four objects selected which means I will need to select them all group and then name them whatever name you want. So let's say this is a turning chair. So now I have my block. This is the block that we brought from uh, Archive 3D, which is a basic model with some elements that are not really good. Maybe I will just select this and I will add a turbo smooth to check if it will fix these problems. It's not, so I'll not be able to use it. So if you need to do to modify anything in this model, maybe I'll go to group and open and then I will select these buttons and I will delete them or maybe I'll just delete this leg and I will use another leg from another um, uh, block or I can add edit poly modifier and I can change anything that I want to change. So let's say I want to change this and bring it a little bit uh, to the front. So you can use the model similar to any other thing that you've created before. Okay, so I'll go to group and close it. This is my model now. Now the second thing that you need to do after you group your, your block is to check the dimensions. Is it correct or is it wrong? So if you bring a box and just draw it this way, you will find like um, a rough dimensions of what you have. So this is around 600 by 600. This is a normal dimension for a chair. So I can use this block. I don't have any issues using it. Now you can place it wherever you want. Maybe I want to put it here. Maybe I want to take it to the balcony up here and so on. So you can move it around however you want, but always make sure that you use a line to make sure it is in the correct position, at least vertically, at least in the Z axis. So I have my block. I'll go to align. I will align it to the flooring and then in the Z axis minimum to maximum. If you have any other elements that you need to do, you can, otherwise you can just move it around because this is a piece of uh, furniture. So you can move it wherever you want, as long as it is in the Z axis correct and on the floor. Okay. Again, I'll repeat this step. I'll just go back. Let's see the models in here. So this is the first one. Don't delete any of the models, any of the folders that you're using because you need them here. You will need them for the material later on as well. So let's go to this one. Now for this one, this is the image and this is the file. So right click, extract. And then you will get this folder where you will open it and you will find some images. And these are basically the material images. And then you have a 3ds Max file. So if you have a .max file, this is much better than the 3ds file. You can just drag it and drop it and then you can click on merge, not open, not extra press. If you click on open, it will open it in a new file. If you click on merge, it will bring it inside this file and if you click on X reference, it will just give you a reference of it and you will not be able to move it easily. So I'll click on merge and it will give me this item and you can place it wherever you want. Then you can go to the top of view. Just make sure that this is uh, it's either one object 
so it has one name it doesn't say for example multiple entities selected or material uh, objects selected it is either one object or it is multiple objects if it's multiple objects you can just group them then you will need to check the dimensions now if you already know the dimension you can um, create a box or a cylinder so let's say this is like a seating part i'll go to the top of you and i'll create a cylinder and let's check how much is this so let's say something like this it's around 350 in radius which is 700 so if you feel that this is fine that's okay you can use it otherwise you can scale it down a bit more okay so you can scale it down until you see that the dimension is correct and then again you can uh, align it wherever you want now i cannot use it for this building it's a bit huge so let's say i'll put it here you can rotate it you can do whatever you want to do with it okay so let's see it's something like this so now i have this model in here okay let's bring another one so for this slide this is two zero one five i don't think i've downloaded this one anyway let's try this or this one so i'll open it and then inside it you will find that you have these images that are previewing and then i have one v-ray file one corona we're using corona so i'll drag this in here click on merge and it will bring them for you and you will find that you have one two three multiple objects so just make sure that you select all of them and then you can group them or you can group each one separately so i'll select this group okay and i'll find it here okay now i know that this does not look like the original images that you can see here but it will look the same after we change the uh, renderer to corona and we import all the maps that are used for the material so i need all these images for the material so later on i'll show you how to do this after the uh, after we are done with the modeling part so you can group each part separately and then you can move them around and place them wherever you want so let's say i'll place one here so i'll go to align and the z-axis minimum to maximum apply and then maybe i will align it to this and the x-axis minimum to maximum and then i'll move it around on the z-axis if you want to, to use array if you want to create copies this is totally up to you so maybe i'll create three instance copies and i'll have something like this okay now other another way to import a file let me just open one more so we have i think this is left uh, again i'll go to extract So this is the dining set and again i'm going to import it now another way of importing a file instead of just dragging and dropping you can go to file import and then merge if you're using 3ds max file and import if you're using 3ds file which is the first one we use the first time so i'll go to import merge and use and uh, go to this folder so i'll go to project blocks 115 dining sets and then i'll select this and click on open now if you use merge files in this way it will show you all the things that are inside the file and you can select what you want to import you can either select all or you can select one of them only and click on OK. Okay. 
now I have this block in here. So sometimes some of the blocks will come with some extra things that you might not need. So in this, uh, if this is the case, then you can go to merge and select what items you want. And again, don't forget to check the dimensions. So let's say I will take a cylinder and I'll place it here. The dimension is around 500 for the chair, which is standard. So this is correct. Now I'll go and align it to wherever I want to place it. So maybe I'll place it in here and X and Y center to center. Apply in Z axis, minimum to maximum. So now it's exactly in the top and in the center of the uh, balcony in here. If you want to rotate, if you want to change anything, you can work with it normally, similar to any other model that you have. So I can go to group and I can open this group. Maybe I don't want these lights, so I can delete them. Maybe I want to move a few things around, so I want to delete these two chairs. I can go to group and open again, and then you can delete whichever you don't want. So now I have something like this. I can select it, group, close, group, close if there's any other groups, and so on. Now the last type of file is the SketchUp file, which is this one. So we have two SketchUp files here. Let me just import this one first. So if I do so, I click here and then it will come like this. Now basically most of SketchUp files will come with extra things. Not only SketchUp files, even 3ds files, sometimes they will come with some extra things. So for this one, as you can see, it includes all these lights. So just select whichever you want. Maybe I'll go to here, group and open. And then let's say I'll select this one and maybe I'll select this. And I'll go to group and detach to make them separate from the rest. And then you can delete all the other files. So group, close and delete. Now you have these blocks that you can use and then I'm going to align to wherever I want. So let's say I'll align it here at the top. Again, Z axis minimum to maximum and apply. Now you can move it in X and Y only to make sure that it stays at the top. So let's say it's somewhere here. Okay, so you can play around until you reach <coughs> sorry, the result that you would like to have. The same thing goes for this one, drag and drop. And you will have this model. You can delete this part. Any extra things that you don't want, you can delete them. If you cannot select them, this is because these are grouped. So go to group, open select and delete and then group and close and then you can use it so for this one maybe okay so i'll select this and then maybe i'll align it to the ceiling in the z-axis this time to the maximum to minimum so i'll apply it x and y maybe center to center and I'll have it in here and then maybe I will need to move it around. So top of view and then I'll move it. Maybe I'll place one here. Let's say I'll place one here and so on. So you'll have something like this. If you want to play around with it again, as I told you, you can add any modifier. You can add edit poly. You can add, uh, let's say, FFD. And maybe I'll move all of this down here and so on so you can play around with it until you reach whichever result you want to reach so that's it for blocks basically just to sum up everything you can either open any website you want or any telegram channel that you want download the blocks make sure that you extract any compressed files and then you can either 
drag and drop any model that you have so let's say um i'll open this one again just to show you so you can drag and drop any 3ds max file and you can use merge if the format is not dot max if it's a sketchup if it's a 3ds any other thing when you drag it and drop it it will not ask for anything it will simply just add the file to your folder and then you can delete whichever you want otherwise you can just go to file import merge to select 3ds max files or import to select the other files and when you select them again it will give you this window where you can select what you want to import and what you don't want okay that's it i hope that it's easy and simple enough and again make sure that you have all your blocks that you're using for each project in a separate folder Late, so later on you can add all the materials and instead of having to create one by one especially for complicated things like this one you will not, you will need to create materials for all the leaves all the um uh, all the branches the base the soil and and so on so instead since you already have the model again the same thing for this one since you already have the materials just make sure they are all in one folder and later on i'll show you how to import everything at the same time thank you for listening and i look forward to your creativity in the project your designs and um yeah have a nice day